the longest and narrowest, at the end or the beginning of the world. The particular nature of Chile's geography is what distinguishes it from other destinations across the globe. Its coastline runs for more than 4,000 kilometers, like a long and infinite beach. Water is our essence in all its forms. In some areas, the cold has turned everything to ice. In others, the sun is what dominates the landscapes. The people are crazy. Sometimes solitude will be your best companion and you'll find yourself all alone. Well, almost alone. And at other times, you'll find yourself surrounded by many. Welcome to Chile, a long and narrow strip of land that nature chose to bestow upon the corner of the earth. Its privileged global position has turned it into a display of natural marvels that begin with the driest desert in the world and finishes with straits and glaciers that bleed into the Pacific Ocean. Its extension from north to south covers 4,300 kilometers. It's home to more than 2,900 volcanoes, 376 lakes and lagoons, 14 wine valleys, and a 1,200 kilometer long path. Chile's Trail, the longest trekking route in the world. Almost a quarter of the country's surface area is covered by forests, and 76% of the glaciers in South America are found within Chilean territory. The country is divided into five clearly marked geographical and climactic zones. The north, influenced by the presence of the Atacama Desert. Santiago, Valparaiso, and the Central Valley, defined by their Mediterranean climate. Moving south, the lakes and volcanoes zone, in the extreme austral area, the Patagonia, and the Antarctic, and finally the islands, where Rapa Nui, Chiloé, and Robinson Crusoe are the highlights. It all begins in the north, in the Atacama Desert, with landscapes that appear to be from another planet, a sublime spectacle of natural attractions that makes an impact on any kind of travel experience. Sometimes the landscapes are imposing and infinite, but at other times, the desert is in full bloom. At the Geysers del Tatio, subterranean hot springs rise to the surface with all their strength. Above this spectacle reign the clearest skies in the southern hemisphere. Chile has transformed into a world-class astronomical power. In this great zone rest the Chinchorro mummies, older than those found in Egypt. You can find the highest volcano in the world, the Ojos del Salado, and paraglide your way across skies that cover ocean and desert. The La Tirana Festival is an impressive event full of traditions, colors, and dances celebrated in the middle of the desert in the Tamarugal Pampa. A perfect Mediterranean climate embraces this entire zone, turning its beaches into the most popular choices for tourists and surfers. Santiago has developed a cosmopolitan character thanks to its entertaining neighborhoods, parks, museums, restaurants, bars, and coffee shops. The ski resorts are just an hour from Santiago, and every winter thousands of fans of this entertaining white sport take to the slopes to enjoy what the mountains have to offer. The hills of Valparaiso and its labyrinth-style streets invite you to wander and discover the secrets that are hidden within, like its cultural heritage. The Casablanca Valley and the Colchagua Valley has established itself as two of the most attractive wine regions in the world. Its generous tourism offer has transcended our borders. Along the coast, Pichulemu, Punta de Lobos, and Matanzas have been converted into attractive surfing destinations, some of them globally recognized for their waves. The south of Chile is an area of great scenic beauty, the ideal place to enjoy sporting activities and long excursions all year round. In the winter, the numerous and beautiful mountainous ski resorts open their doors, and during the summer, activities take place on the lakes and within the imposing forests that surround them, with huge open spaces in which to enjoy nautical sports, trekking circuits, canopy, rafting, and volcano climbs. The theater, Teatro del Lago, in the city of Frutiar, on the banks of Lake Yanquiwe, is a world-class space that gives concerts and welcomes a variety of artistic and cultural exhibitions. Part of Chile's ancestral origins come from the Mapuche culture and can be experienced across the diverse range of landscapes in this region. There's an ethnic tourism circuit 90 kilometers outside the city of Temuco, 
where you can enjoy tastings of local gastronomy or sleep in Aruka, typical Mapuche dwellings. Lonely Planet selected Chiloé as one of the 10 most interesting destinations in the world to take a vacation. The Palafitos colored houses built on stilts over the water are one of the island's most distinctive features. As two are its churches, all built from wood during the 18th and 19th centuries, UNESCO declared 16 of these places of worship cultural heritage. Sail along fjords and canals, in between stunning national parks, and discover excellent places to enjoy fly fishing, as well as extraordinary nature to roam through. Cozy boutique hotels and lodges await you as you begin the end of the world adventure. La Carretera Estral, the Southern Highway, is more than 1,200 kilometers long and stretches from Puerto Montt to Villa O'Higgins. This beautiful Patagonian route has been countlessly selected as one of the America's most photogenic routes. The Torres del Paine National Park, the eighth wonder of the world, is located 1,000 kilometers further south. The park has seven trekking circuits to enjoy, the highlight being the W Circuit that takes 10 days to complete and passes through the Glacier Gray Valley, an area that you can also sail through. The Antarctic Territory is located in the extreme south. It's a place to admire and explore, dedicated to science, and constantly attracting more and more visitors who must follow very strict rules in order to maintain its unspoiled state of conservation. There are around 4,000 islands in Chile, dotted about for the most part in the area dominated by the fjords and canals in the south. The special highlights are those which have developed unique cultures and environments full of biodiversity, including the archipelago Juan Fernandez, and Easter Island, the Juan Fernandez Archipelago, is a cluster of three islands, Santa Clara, Robinson Caruso, and Alejandro Selkirk, and is located in the South Pacific, 670 kilometers off of the continent's mainland. Robinson Caruso is the only island out of the three that make up the archipelago it's inhabited. Easter Island, or Rapa Nui, was declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1995. The remotest island on the planet offers testimony to a living culture of Polynesian origins, which gave form to immense stone statues, known as the Moai, and a unique cultural package. As we previously mentioned, Chile is highly unique, full of contrasts and surprises. But what we can definitely promise, hand on heart, is that nobody leaves us without wanting to return.